Like a lot of people, I'm really feeling the push to make Instagram Reels, although I don't really enjoy editing them that much. So I've spent the last while trying to make some presets for Premiere Pro to make stacked reels so I can repurpose some 16 by nine footage and it not be such a tedious process while editing them. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through how to use these presets and all the way to exporting them. So let's get onto the computer and open Premiere Pro. Let's go. Okay, so now that we're in Premiere, the first thing you wanna do is uh, have a sequence open where all your selects live. You can see on the right here, I just have a 16 by nine uh, sequence. And I'm also gonna open a nine by 16 HD sequence. Instagram maxes out at 1080 by 1920 at 30 frames a second. It converts everything to 30 frames a second. But sometimes I like editing in a 4K timeline by nine, nine by 16 and you can see why uh, this is just a personal preference thing, but you can only drop it one fourth uh, quality in a 1080 and in a 4K timeline, you can actually drop it to one eighth. That's literally just a personal preference thing. The presets will work the exactly the same. Uh, and to get them open in your effects, just right click anywhere in the presets and press import presets and navigate to where uh, you save them. So back to my uh, 16 by nine, sequence here, we got all my selected clips that I wanna use and stack them into a five stack. So I have a nether sequence open that is nine by 16 and I'm just gonna copy them and paste it right into it. I've actually labeled the stacks in a certain order and you pretty much just wanna match that how you build your little timeline here. So right now I'm not gonna resize anything, I'm gonna let the preset do all that work, but I think I'm just gonna stack it right in order of how everything is. So, you know, this one will be number five, this one will be four, three, so on and so on. Right, okay, so now we have just absolute garbage and now we're just gonna stop, start dragging on the top. Number two, number three, number four, number five. You might be looking and being like, what the, what, what the heck, that doesn't, that actually doesn't work. Uh, the top clip. The top clip is a 4K clip uh, and everything else are 1080 clips. So to bring a 4K clip down into a 1080 sequence, it actually needs to be 50%. So I'm gonna drop it to 50. So that's just something to be aware of when you're working in different timelines. If you're working with a 720 clip, you're gonna have to upscale it. If you're working in a 4K timeline and you're adding 1080 clips, you're gonna have to upscale it, but just something to be aware of. So all I did there was I went into motion, scale, and I dropped it by 50%. Okay, so you can look at the side now and everything is where it should be. We got a clean five stack. And this is why it's also good to stack your clips the way it is gonna be in the program. So my bottom clip is the bottom clip in the frame. So let's just reposition everything now because you know, everything needs a little bit of love. Uh, and I left the offset open. And that's an important note here uh, when you drop on the preset because this is the main way to move around your clip in the viewer. You for sure can use the effect controls, uh, but uh, I just found it a little easier and less cumbersome to do it with an offset. If you wanna resize anything, I resized everything pretty much right to the frame. But if you do wanna resize, you just use the scale. Uh, and you can see if I go down, it immediately just goes to black and you can scale up or do whatever you want and it should stay within the bounds. But yeah, right now I think we're just gonna drag this clip under and you can see if I go too far, it'll start repeating the clip. So it's just something to be aware of, especially when you're working with such similar colors like this, this five stack here. So I'll just go here where the dogs are in frame and then you just move up and you hit each offset to where you can see the bottom of the clip, so I can't go that far. Um, and again, you can do this with the transform tool. This is just a totally personal preference thing for me. For this clip, this was the 4K clip. I actually do want it be, to be sized up, but if you come back here and I try to size it back up, it takes over. So always use the transform if you're trying to, to scale in. So I'm just gonna scale it into maybe there. And again, you can use to transform if you wanna move around, and boom. And the one last thing that is actually included in this is the five stack mats. Uh, these are created in 4K, uh, so just set to, set to frame size. 
and just creates a nice little, you know, you could do uh, white if you wanted to. So you could apply whatever color you want. And I've also included a rough as well. This is all part of my actual matte pack that has a ton of other assets in there that you could use for Instagram Reels. So these are the only ones that are included for free, but I'll link it in the description below if you're interested to go pick up the matte pack. It's only $5, but yeah, so you get something like this. And then I did it pretty much for every stack has some options and some windows as well. So that's pretty much it. All the presets work exactly the same. Uh, there's mats created in the uh, additional mat pack that if you're interested, you can buy and they pretty much just slam on top, give it a little bit of a different look, but definitely not necessary. Even if I jump over to this and make a quick four stack, now that that's there, these are all 1080 clips, so I don't have to actually resize anything, but boom, super quick. I didn't even have to adjust anything and you already have something ready to go. All you have to do is make your selects in a different timeline, which to me is a little easier when you're actually not working in a vertical timeline. I hate working in a vertical time and this is part of the reason I made these. So hopefully, um, yeah, you get uh, some ease of use out of this. But uh, maybe I'll show you one of these window ones that's included in the map pack. So let's just go over to it too. So these are this is the two uh, the two stack, which just looks like this. And that takes up the whole frame. But sometimes I just want to show off the actual clip. So I'm going to take this window mat. I'm going to rescale it to 1080. And it looks like something like this. So I'm going to clear off all the attributes on this. Those presets that we just dra dragged and dropped. And it's pretty much just as simple as uh, going in and like hand bombing these around. And there you go. It's a pretty quick, uh, simple look that you can go with. I've actually created some mats of the reverse of this. So basically your video is only these things and you can have a background of pretty much whatever you want. Uh, and that's included in the, uh, the bigger mat pack as well, if that's your jam, but you know, uh, maybe it's not. And uh, maybe these effects will uh, be enough. Okay, so in terms of exporting when you're ready, I made a preset included in the download pack as well. So you can just come to these three dots import preset and navigate to wherever you saved it. It's super simple. It's just outputting that 1080. So even if you're in a 4K uh, timeline, it'll push it to 1080. And then the only other thing I changed was the two pass. So Instagram heavily compresses uh, pretty much anything on Instagram. Uh, but if you compress it before it gets to Instagram, basically my thinking is that it pretty much doesn't have to do anything and just accepts your file. So you can not accept these basic settings. You know, you can maybe bump it up to uh, nine or 10, but just make sure your overall uh, file size isn't too crazy. Definitely try to hover around 50 megabytes or less. That's my two cents. Again, uh, definitely just a per personal preference thing, but that's it for this pack. Um, I hope these presets help and just streamline your process to making Instagram Reels now that we're all forced to create them. If you have any problems, just drop it in the comments and yeah, enjoy.